right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Watching the UFC back inside Bell Center here in Montreal, and I don't know if there's something in the water, <laughs> in the beer, in the walls, but these people make noise like few MMA fans around the world. Maybe it's something in the weather. They're escaping the snow yeah. to go inside the Bell Center, and once they're there, they're doing all those other things, John. They're drinking the beer. They're taking in the great fights, and they are cheering as loud as they can. They want to be heard. They make themselves a part of the competition in the fighting book. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under two minutes to go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice, nice. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. That shot blocked by Marquardt. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. 45 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> 15 seconds. Nice punch lands over the top. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. Round two coming up next. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go. Second round is underway. A little bit of a snoozer here, DC. If you just want to nudge me or wake me when we get some action, that would be fun. These guys have got to do something different if they expect to get their hands raised. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kiss. Right hand upstairs. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Working out of that southpaw stance. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Marco. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Marcourt gets caught with that punch. And they separate. And the horn sounds on round two. Both guys a little bit flat-footed here. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
All right, next round is underway, and how about the head movement and the slips? Really a beautiful defensive effort to watch in that previous round. It looked as if he was training in his boxing rig with the two ropes spread across. There's, there's a jump rope on one end going to the other end of the boxing ring and another one making the X in the middle, and you're just working on your head movement. His ability to see everything reminds me of a guy that's learning to do that drill. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Oh! He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. What a body kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Watch the strike. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick. A oh, hook to the head by Marco. And they separate. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice loop and punch. Nice defense there, huge block. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house on Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Just misses with the jab there. Good punch, Lance. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under one minute remains in round four. Straight punch lands. Just missing on the high kick there. Real quick leg kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Beautiful kick. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. What a fight! 